Hey guys, I posted this the other day. It said there's a triangle with the area of one unit squared. For this particular triangle, what is the shortest possible perimeter and what is the longest possible perimeter? Well, here's a video going over the answers. First, let's find the longest possible perimeter. Let's start with the triangle. In this case, I have a right triangle here and the area is gonna be one half base times height. Let's give this a base of two and a height of one. The area would be equal to one half of that base of two times the height of one. And then one half and two cancel, which gives us one. So this triangle has an area of one. And then to get the perimeter, we can do Pythagorean theorem, find out this is root five. And we can add one plus two plus root five, and it gives us approximately 5.236. So we know that's one possible length. So this is cool, but we're trying to figure out the longest perimeter we can get. So let's make this bottom really large, something like 2 million. And then the height in this case would have to be one over a million. So the area is going to be one half times the base of 2 million times the height of one over a million. Now let's figure out what this area is. This million and this million will cancel. So we just have one half times two and one half times two is one. So the area of this triangle is one. The perimeter of this particular triangle is gonna be very close to four million. So that's pretty large. And if we change these millions to billions, now we can see that we can make it four billion for the perimeter and still have an area of one. And you can keep doing this forever. So there really is no maximum value. The perimeter can be as long as we want. So the way to get the shortest possible perimeter for a given area is to use an equilateral triangle. So here's our equilateral triangle right here and all the sides have the same length S. And all three angles will be 60 degrees. And I wanna focus on this angle right here. Let's drop down a perpendicular line from this vertex. And since this is 60 degrees and this is 90 degrees, that makes this 30 degrees up here. The hypotenuse of this triangle is gonna be S and this line cuts this bottom in half. So this part of the triangle will be half of S. A 30-60-90 triangle is a special type of triangle. All of them follow the same pattern. If the side opposite the 30 degrees is some value n, the hypotenuse will always be twice as big as that. And we can see that's happening here as well. We have an S over two here, and we have an S right here. This side is twice as long as this side. And the side opposite the 60 will always be root three times the shortest side. So this red line right here will be this S over two times the square root of three. So now we have all three sides of this triangle, and we don't need these notes anymore. Let's get rid of these two angles, and let's change this to the entire base, which is S. So the area of this triangle right here is gonna be one half base times height. Let's plug in one for the area. Let's copy down the one half. The base is gonna be this S right here, and the height is this S root three over two. So we can multiply these denominators. Two times two is gonna give us four, and then S times S is S squared, and we can multiply this root three by this one to give us root three over four. Now let's multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this, four over root three. On this side, four over root three times one is just four over root three. And on this side, this fraction times this fraction gives us one. All we have left is S squared. And then we can square root both sides. That makes this side S. And this square root can be distributed to both the top and the bottom, which would give us square root of four over square root of square root of three. And square root of four is two. If you ever do the square root of the square root of something, it ends up being the fourth root of that something. So this bottom changes into fourth root of three. The fourth root of x is equal to x to the one fourth power. So we can rewrite the fourth root of three as three to the one fourth power. So now to get rid of this one fourth power, if we multiply top and bottom by three to the three fourths power, on bottom, we're gonna add these exponents. So three fourths plus one fourth ends up being just one. So this bottom becomes three to the one. And on top, we were just gonna multiply these. So this is just gonna be two times this, which is two times this. And then three to the one is equal to three. So this is our exact value for S in an equilateral triangle that has an area of one. But we wanna know what is the perimeter. So let's clean all this stuff up and bring this up here. The perimeter of this is gonna be equal to S plus S plus S, or in other words, three S. And S is equal to this stuff, so we can plug this stuff in for the S. And this three on top will cancel with this three on bottom, leaving us with only two times three to the three fourths power. And that is approximately equal to 4.55901. This is the smallest possible perimeter for a triangle with area equal to one. How exciting.